It's time for weekends at the Connecticut Science Center. Channel 3's Mark Dixon has more on Sensory Friendly Day. Hey guys, we've reached the end of the week. Of course, because it's a Friday, we're here with Sean at the Connecticut Science Center. And the Science Center can often be very bright and also very loud. We're actually in the sight and sound experience, but this weekend, specifically Sunday, you have a special event happening. We do. So we're bringing back Sensory Friendly Day, and we do these several times throughout the year. Uh, and on Sensory Friendly Day, we um, turn down the volume, dim the lights a bit, and just make it a little more accessible for those with sensory needs. All right, and also new this year, you've got uh, some new signage. Yeah, so uh, basically, Based on some of our visitor feedback, um, we have some new signage, so the entrance to every gallery is going to have one of these signs, and it kind of gives you a glimpse into what is inside that gallery before I walk in there with my child. All right, and in addition to all of that, you have a couple of other things ongoing, specifically on Sunday. We do, lots of activities. The art truck's going to be here. They're doing texture crafts, which wow. will be really fun. We have Bay Path College students coming, and they're going to be showing you how to make sensory bins. So right. lots of exciting events. And then all of our galleries are open and lots of other activities going on throughout the day as well. All right, so normal hours, normal operation on Saturday, 10 to 5, but then on Sunday specifically, Sensory Friendly Day. That's right, and Sensory Friendly Day is sponsored by Miracle League of Connecticut, and they will um, be sponsoring that again this time, so we're happy to have them back. Excellent. Sean, thank you so much, and we hope you make the Science Center a destination of yours this weekend.